Marcus Trudyke uh, getting that last second. To, you heard you heard you heard the stops. That 10 seconds. What would you think? What'd you think? I heard that 10 seconds, man. And I knew that I got to finish strong. Um, I just knew I had to finish strong. I wanted to fight to that last second, and I was aiming for a knockout, man. You know, thank God it, it worked out in my favor tonight, man. Do you think uh, Ryan Diaz like led up when he hurt the uh, when he hurt the uh, wood? You know, knocking on wood. Do you think he kind of let led up like he let back like ah, fight's over? I won this round, so I won this fight. Do you think he led up and that's what, what played in for you? You know, man, he was tired. I was exhausted, man. Like I said, man, I'm always going to fight to that last second. Regardless if I'm losing, winning, I'm going to throw blows until that last second. And I saw him open for uppercut. I just really couldn't get it. We're, we're both really respecting each other's striking. And uh, I just went for it that last second, man. And, you know, thank God I caught it, man. Uh, like, where do, you, where do you see yourself, like, uh, moving on from here? You know, man, uh, I, def I just want to just continue fighting, man. I ain't trying to call out nobody, you know what I mean? I but to, to be the best, you gotta fight the best. I'm not one of those fighters who just want to be called a cage fighter and get, give me fights. I mean, I'm here to fight the tough guys. I'm here to be a champion. And uh, you know what I mean? To, to me, I think Mexican's got the most pride, man. Like, we'll, we'll fight till last second. Even if we get our asses kicked, we'll fight till last second, man. And again, that proves it. Like, uh, what was it? Like, a uh, 457 that knockout came? That would, and again, talk about, you know, last second. Because again, uh, depending on the judges' scorecards, that fight, fight could have went anyway, but you stole it back from the uh, judges' hands. You stole it back from the judges' hands. Uh, who helped you get ready for this fight? Uh, my team, Pinnacle Jiu-Jitsu. Um, we train hard, man. Um, they definitely helped me get ready. I, I knew Ryan was going to be a tough fight. He's a Canadian kickboxing champion. I mean, he's got like over 40 professional Muay Thai fights, you know, 24 professional MMA fights. This was my eighth, my eighth uh, professional MMA fight. So, I mean, he, he definitely had the experience. But, you know, man, I, I put that aside in the cage, man. Because I just looked at it as what he did in the past is the past. But once we're in that cage, it don't matter what he did outside. You know what I mean? He's got going there and poses well on me. And I, and I know I ain't no pushover fighter, man. You know what I mean? I just put it outside and, and went for it. So uh, eight fights, eight, eight fights in the game. You beat a former uh, champion. Uh, you think uh, you think uh, Terry Treblecock, uh, Shingo is going to set you up? Uh, maybe uh, take on, you know, again to become a champion of your own right. Are, are you ready for that, or just whatever comes you know, man, next? I think I still got some things I got to work on. Um, I'm, I'm in no rush, you know what I mean? I'm definitely... Just going to enjoy the ride. I'm enjoying the ride, man, you know what I mean? Like I said, I ain't trying to call nobody. Whoever whoever they put in front of me is who I'm going to train to fight for, man. Cool. Uh, go ahead, shout out your sponsors, like, if you... Um, I want to thank uh, my sponsors, Tap Out, um, Unleash, Ricker Burger, uh, Bell Bond Hotline. Um, I think that's it. Cool, man. Hey, hey log on to the forums, find out more about Ruben. This is Darnell Mitch for MMAHawaii.com. Always, real people, real fighters. Real pain.